What is up, Finn fans? Breaking news, which means that you're getting it straight from the phone, and I just got out of work, which means that I'm in my nice clothes, look at fancy, and I'm in my car. But two breaking news has happened today, literally within 15 minutes of each other. Like, like what? <laughs> what? So, I'm gonna talk about the one that's not as important as the other, and then we'll go into details on the other one. If you don't know already, you, you definitely know, because the, I have the title. The title of the video tells you. But I'm going to talk about both of them. Let's jump into the first one. Miami Dolphins claim Taco Charlton. I swear, I swear this is a huge coincidence. I was going to go home and make tacos for dinner today. And the Dolphins claim Taco Charlton. Just what, like, what are the odds? What are the odds of that happening? Seriously. So the Dolphins claim Taco Charlton. He's a defensive end. He was on the Cowboys. He got drafted by the Cowboys in the first round in 2017. Give you some stats, some of his stats for his first two years in the NFL and his first two years with the Dallas Cowboys. In 2017, he had three sacks, 19 co combined tackles, which is solo and with help. And then in 2018, last year, he only had one sack, but 27 combined tackles. He went up with his tackles. The Dolphins are getting him for two years, $2.5 million. Now, if you guys remember in my video that came out earlier today, my picks video, a lot of you guys were talking about, should we get him? Should we claim him? Should we get him? And I said, yeah, I'd go after him, but I'd wait for him to clear waivers because then none of his money's guaranteed. But the fact that it's only two years, $2.5 million, I'm fine. I'm all right with that because it's nothing. It's literally nothing because he was still on his rookie contract. But the Dolphins do pick him up, and the Dolphins do play the Cowboys on Sunday. Will that factor into anything? Will that factor into, you know, is he going to give playbook ideas? Is he going to help us because he, he's played on the, on the Cowboys? Any of that stuff, I don't know. He's literally going to be on the team for two days before we play the Cowboys. I don't even see. he. They're, Miami's in Dallas right now, so he's probably just going to, walk across to them like oh where are you guys practicing oh, i'm just gonna i'll walk over that's cool thanks for picking me up off waivers but the dolphins do pick him up he makes the sixth first round pick that the dolphins have on this team he makes the third first round pick that we've taken from another team so it's him rosen parker wilkins harris and kimdichi rosen and kimdichi who's on the physically unable to perform list little side news note i'm hearing kimdichi is getting really into shape he's starting to look a lot better and he's starting to get more acclimated with this team so don't be surprised if we see Kimdichi come middle to end of the season um start to play but Charlton Rosen and Kimdichi are cast off first rounders that the Dolphins scooped up now this whole Taco Charlton pickup um I like it I like it a lot because again I'm getting called delusional I feel like I should just you know, delusional do wrong is what I should change my name to because that's all I keep getting in the comment section. If you think this is going to happen, you're delusional. And if you think that's happening, you're delusional and delusional, delusional. I forgot that if you have a different opinion from someone else, you're either an idiot, delusional or wrong because no one can have their own opinion or feeling on things. But I like this move because the Dolphins are rebuilding. The Dolphins are building for the future and he's a young first round pick that has only been on the team for two years and if he turns out to be something great not saying he is not saying he will i'm not saying he isn't but if he turns out to be something good man we got him for two years for 2.5 million dollars and then we got a fifth year option we could throw on that so it's a great move and it shows that the dolphins are building for the future that they're bringing in this young talent that some of them are, need to prove it. Some of them are, you know, just have that chip on their shoulder, that fight. So we'll see if he plays Sunday. I don't think he would play Sunday, but you never know. Because with this defensive scheme, he might just be rushing. Just rush after Prescott. You know how the offense works. You've been with the team for two years. Just rush after Prescott and get after him. So, again, Dolphins claim Taco Charlton. I'm going to go home and I'm going to make myself some tacos. I'm not even kidding you. Um, and then the other thing, the big breaking news that you guys want my opinion on and you guys really want me to talk about, Josh Rosen starting Sunday. Josh Rosen is officially starting Sunday. Now, when training camp happened and the battles happened and all that stuff, I talked about I want the best quarterback out there. I want the quarterback that is going to you know, win us games to be out there. Fitzpatrick's been out there for two weeks. We haven't scored. We scored 10 points in two weeks. We haven't done anything in those two weeks. So he's not the best quarterback. 
Now, I'm not saying Rosen's any better, but we don't know what we have in Rosen. These are the, this is what I want to, sorry, my thumb blocked the camera. This is what I want to talk about with uh, Fitz versus Rosen. Fitz has things that are better than Rosen. Rosen has a few things that are better than Fitz. Now, the things that Fitz can do, Fitz can read a defense. He has that veteran leadership. He's been playing for 16 years. He can read a defense. And um, he has the the pocket presence and the know-how to move. All of a sudden, it, he's not gonna he's also not gonna stare down his receivers, but he he has that he has that veteran leadership and that veteran mindset that I'm at three seconds, I don't have the ball out of my hand, I need to get out of here. And that's something I noticed with the end of the Patriots game that I noticed Rosen was staring down his receivers a little bit, and I noticed that he was he was holding the ball a little too long. Now Again, the offensive line doesn't help. I'm not saying that Rosen's bad. I'm not saying anything about Rosen, you know, that isn't known. But also, it didn't help that he had, like, three seconds, if that, to throw the ball with this offensive line. But when he did have time, he did kind of... I was That was Rosen's knock in training camp and preseason, is that he would stare down his receivers and his throws were late. Kind of saw that at the end of the Patriots game. He did have some really good dots that were dropped. Receivers are dropping balls on, on Sunday, which needs to be fixed if they want to have any type of chance against the Cowboys. But again, Fitz's downsides are his arm is he's 16 year vet, so his arm is is losing. He's losing his arm. And he's just making stupid throws and he's just trying to do anything out of nothing. Rosen's upsides is he's way more athletic than Fitz. Um, he can make really nice throws over the middle and he can make really nice throws. Um, but again, his downsides are he kind of tends to hold on to the ball too long. He doesn't really have an internal clock, um, and he's late on throws. Those are all things, and, he, and he's not as great at reading a defense as Fitzpatrick is. Those are all things that could be groomed and that could be fixed. I think the reason why they're going with Rosen over Fitz is they know what they have in Fitz, and they see that it's just not helping, and they're trying to get a spark with this offense because the defense, like I said last week, 13 nothing at halftime. The um, the offense gave two pick sixes up. That's 14 points, you know? It, if they didn't do the pick sixes right and the Dolphins just played great defense and there's no stupid pick sixes, Dolphins lost, what, 49? I don't remember what the final score of last week was. I try to black it out. They would have only lost by, like, 20-something points. So... You know, and then if, you know, some of the touchdown catches weren't dropped and if things happened a certain way, it's all about breaks happening for one or the other team. So the Dolphins think to themselves, all right, well, let's throw Rosen in there and see what he can do. He's got more mobility. He's got more athleticism. He's younger. We'll see what he can do. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Rosen's going to make some mistakes. Uh, it's just going to come with the territory of you're playing with a horrible offensive line. He's going to make mistakes. And this running game has got to get started. I'm going to talk about that on uh, Saturday in the preview video, preview for the Cowboys uh, Dolphins game on what they need to do to beat the Cowboys. But I'm not expecting Rosen to come in and us to put 40 points up and us to beat the brakes off of the Cowboys. Not expecting that. And if you're expecting that or if you're expecting Rosen to come in and all of a sudden the offense is going to be clicking on all cylinders, then you're going to be in for heartbreak come Sunday because that's not what's going to happen. Now, we might score more than zero or ten points. That is a possibility. But, guys, and I, I, I do this with myself, and I'm trying to get you guys to pick up on it. Rather be surprised than let down. Don't go into the Cowboys game Sunday thinking that, you know, oh, Rosen's in. Now, all of a sudden, we're, we're going we're gonna to do great, and we're going to do it. We're going to play better. Let's let's go off that. We're going to play better. There's a lot that we can improve on. There's a lot that we can do. You know, I'm not even expecting Taco to play. If he does play, cool. I expect him more to give us some intel. Uh, Rosen, just don't do anything stupid. If Rosen doesn't throw an interception and if Rosen doesn't fumble and he plays smart, we might have a chance. Might have a chance. And again, me even saying that, I'm going to get called delusional. <laughs> I either get called delusional for having hope and faith in my team, or I get called a fake fan for being a realist, uh, which I see myself as both. I, I love my team. I'm a huge Miami Dolphin fan, and I have, I'm have i optimistic, and I have a ton of hope and faith in my team, but I'm also a realist and don't see... The Cowboys are a good team. The Patriots are a good team. The Ravens are a good team. The Chargers are a good team. If we win one of these... If we win one of the next two games, I'll be ecstatic. If we don't... 
after watching that, watching that Ravens game, it's, it was it was hard to think we'd win any of these four games. Again, I'm not saying we're not going to win any games because I still think that now the Jets game, the Giants game, the Bengals game, there's a ton of games that we could still win. Again, now I'm going to get called delusional, but whatever. But let's just get back to what I was talking about. So Rosen starting, I like the move. I like the move a lot. We needed that. We needed him to start. We needed that injection of youth. We needed what he can do. Now let's hope and pray that the the team around him with Devontae Parker, Jakeem Grant, Preston Williams, him and Preston Williams were making connections in preseason. Hopefully that continues. Hopefully all of a sudden we start to see these things happen. Hopefully the offense at wide receiver and running back stop messing up. Belage had a horrible game against the Patriots. All the receivers were dropping the balls. Let's change that up. Let's go out to the Cowboys. Let's give them a competition. If we win, fan friggin tastic. But don't get blown out. Don't give up 49 points. Don't give up 30 plus points. Please, for the love of God, help out. Let's not have a blowout. Let's have a competitive game and I'll be ecstatic. But like I said, Josh Rosen starting. Love the move. We claim Taco Charlton. Love the move. Comment below, guys. What do you think of Josh Rosen starting? What do you think of Taco Charlton being claimed? Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, either Friday or Saturday is going to be my preview video for the Cowboys game. I'm thinking about doing it Friday so more people can see it versus before the game. So I might put the Dolphins preview game out tomorrow just to throw that one out there or Saturday. But I'm leaning towards tomorrow. And you get my post-game video after the Cowboys game. So I know there's a few Dolphin uh, YouTubers out there. TD Finn's talk, his wife's a Cowboys fan. He really wants the Dolphins to win uh, because he just doesn't want to hear his wife rub it in. I know Kay Flexen, he mentioned that he has a lot of uh, friends that are Cowboys fan where he lives. And he just really doesn't want to hear it. And I think I heard... Um, great one talk about that he has cowboy fans that he, has, he doesn't want to hear it me up in jersey i don't get that where it's mostly giants jets and they all hate the cowboys so i don't get that but i know those other dolphin youtubers really don't want to hear it so we're all going to be rooting for the, the dolphins hard and especially those three they don't want to hear it so like i said comment below let me know what you guys think of the two moves uh i'll see you guys tomorrow with my preview video be sure to hit the like button great moves hit the like button because Dolphins are making moves. Dolphins are, are, it's slow. It's a slow methodical thing. It sucks now. I know it sucks now because I even feel how much it sucks. Even the delusional Dougley do wrong. I, it sucks now, but it's going to get better. I know it's going to get better. So give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Tomorrow's preview video. Check out Dolphins Talk. Great content over there. My content. TD. Beat writers. All that stuff over there. Also check out Sportscaster. Might go out live tonight. I'm both here and there. I haven't decided yet. But other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow with the preview video. But like usual, stay classy. Fins up.